Hello everyone, I'm Ketia Ludisiana. I'm the Miss World 80 2013. So now I'm at the airport. I'm waiting for Miss World 2013, Miss Megad. I want to welcome Mrs. Molly, the, represent the representative of the Miss World pageant. The name of the minister is It's a pleasure we are receiving today Megan Young with Miss World and uh, she has special attachments to Haiti with her orphanages in Bestel and we just want her to have another view of an emerging country and it's with the utmost pleasure that the Minister of Tourism has put in place this little we welcoming for you and we hope that your stay in Haiti will really be memorable. As you can see the environment, we are um, um, in a little difficult area, and, uh, but the kids are here, the kids are very happy, and today I hope that you can see the spirit in the children. But um, there's kids there, there's a lot of life in there, and uh, once you arrive in there, you really fall in love with the children and uh, with who they are. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Je m'appelle Megan. Hello. Hello, Megan. Nice to meet you. My name is Megan. Je m'appelle Megan. Hello. Can you go? Can you go? Un, deux, trois. Hello, Miss. Yes. Hello, Miss Good. Very good. Well, things didn't go exactly as planned today. The team, uh, everyone involved, the kids, uh, we ended up in a traumatic experience. The, the orphanage that we went to um, wasn't stable enough for us, so we went up the stairs and within seconds, you know, the platform just fell through. We fell down, the whole Miss World team that was with me, the kids that I was with, and you know, this is the reason why we do this. This is the reason why we have beauty with a purpose. I mean, it's to help these kids and it's to make them feel that comfort, that they're loved and, you know, that they're of their importance. And I think this is even more a realization for people. I mean, this is where they live. This is, this is what they go through every day. And imagine if we hadn't been there, you know, to, to help them or to realize their state, the state of their home, that it wasn't that safe. Um, you know, I mean, at one moment you're greeting these kids, you're all happy, they're happy, and then the sec next second, you know, you're, you're falling down and you don't even know what to do, you're all in shock. And I think it's more of a reason for us to reach out and to help them and what they, what they need. I mean, it's not just here in Haiti, it's in it's all over the world. I mean, whether it be the Philippines or any other place, these kids need attention and they need that help. I think the one in most critical condition now is Mrs. Morley. Uh, we were all affected by it. Some by initial shock, some had their noses broken, you know, scratches, but Mrs. Morley is the one that's in the most critical condition. I just really hope that she gets better because She's the spearhead of this all. I mean, she pours her heart into what she does with beauty with a purpose. And that's all she thinks about. It's about getting, making people happy. <laughs> 